What's up guys, War here, and today I'm bringing you a Barbarian Whirlwind video. This build is insane, it pulls all the monsters. Let's do it. So today guys, we're gonna go over the Barbarian Whirlwind build that I have inside the PTR. If you know Barbarian, Whirlwind was on top for the longest time. The Rayquarth set has a really cool build that they released in Season 26. But I think this is going to be the one that tops the Barbarians all over again for next season. So inside this PTR, everybody knows the Whirlwind build. It's really, really easy. But with the new power that has came with the PTR, so Whirlwind pulls and holds all enemies within 25 yards. You used to have to run uh, you know, your Whirlwind with hurricane to kind of pull everybody in but now you don't have to do that because of the power so when you use the power it automatically just pulls everybody in so this build is absolutely insane so what we're going to do is i'm going to go in i'm going to show you a gr90 and then we're going to go over everything that you need now i do want to note that i'm only 594 paragon my legendary gems are only ranked 25 as you guys can see right here and then i have no augmented gear i do have one primal that i accidentally got you know rolling but i have no ancient or prior or augmented gear so all this gear is very easily attainable so let's go in and just pop off and i'm gonna show you this gr90 and show you exactly how this build works okay so when you start in you have threatening shout and then furious charges is going to help you get around so to build up your fury you have to start with furious charge first hit enemies and then you start whirlwinding right off the bat you're going to pop ignore pain for defense and then of course wrath of the berserker for just overall opness and then uh threatening shout to to get uh health globes which is going to help increase your um your defense so let's get into it we're going to be a couple seconds behind here but that's okay i wanted to kind of explain what we're doing here so you just you just furious charge in pop ignore pain and then uh your threatening shout every time you kill uh, we're running Ingium, so every time we kill uh, Elites, we're going to get our skills reset. You want to keep Threatening Shout popping because you see all the health globes. This is going to help keep us alive on top of giving us a nice little defense here. As you guys can see, see the little the red things above their heads? That helps keep them, you know, just dead. So I want to show you what it is. It's this right here, Pound of Flesh. It increases your life regen and movement speed uh, up to five stacks, which is insane. So we want to keep that going. But as you guys can see, this build is just really easy to use. You're just flying through, just hurricaning and pulling everything. No monsters can stay alive, even when you're not. I mean, we might even have to go up because of how strong the build is. But this gear is just so easily attainable when you first start off in your season. So, I mean, and look how strong you are with just basic stuff. I mean... I only think I have a couple, a couple, like one or two ancient items, if that. But you see how it pulls everything? So what happens with them being constantly pulled like this is on the higher GRs, you're going to continuously pull those enemies, which means that they won't attack you. So they're constantly being pulled and you just drag them to the next mob. You just keep dragging them and dragging them. Which makes it really, really easy to destroy high-level GRs or, you know, high-level monsters. I'm only doing 90s right now just to show you how, like, efficient this build is. But it's it's just so crazy, man. I've never been a big Barbarian main at all, you know. So, uh, I really wanted to make this video after playing it. You know, I played some Barbarian in Season 26 because of the Rayquarth set, which is just cool. But the Whirlwind build is just so fast. This might be the Barbarian's, like, T16 build for, you know, getting resources and then, of course, pushing the higher G, not like GRs, you know. This could easily do GR150, you know, GR140s or 30s easily. The only bummer here is that, like, you need, like, the single target damage is kind of, like, a little bit weaker. But otherwise, like, the build is, is fine. So... But you guys see that? Super easy. Super, super easy. We completed it in 12 minutes, but that's because we, we took a little bit of time to just showcase how how the build actually works. <clears throat> it, it's, it's a super easy build to play, guys. We're going to go back to town right now, and I'm going to show you all the gear and stuff that you're going to need for this build. And there's a few different ways to uh, to do it. And you can and you can do this with low Paragon. You, you don't need a crazy amount of Paragon. 
You know, so see, we did that in three minutes. You could probably do GR90s with the, the gear that I have in uh, two minutes or two and a half minutes. You know, I just I just took a little bit of time to show you how powerful the build is. But let's get in here. There's a couple different ways to, to play this. So the first thing that you are going to need is the entire uh, Wrath of the Way set. You want all six pieces because you're going to get all your damage in, in the Dust Devil Rune um, and all your red damage on top of Whirlwind by 10,000%. So you have to have all six pieces. Pretty standard here, guys. You don't need to change any of this. Um, next is we're going to have the Lamentation Belt. You definitely need to have this. It's a key part of the build. Ren stacks twice and deals up to 150% extra damage, which is great. Then next we got the Mortix Brace. You have to have this. I mean, you know, I guess you don't have to, but it helps when you go into Wrath of Berserker because you get all the runes, which is just fantastic. So our, our uh, Amulet and Rings is a pretty standard setup, guys. We're going with Squirts for double damage. And then, of course focus and restraint for the increased damage and damage uh basically another double damage you guys know how focus and restraint works now our legendary gems that we have for the build guys are taguk for increased damage and uh armor stacks uh for added defense bane of the trap obviously no brainer and then of course um molten wizard geese to ha to help offset the uh squirts necklace because we're going to be up close and personal and taking a lot of damage so we need to make sure we stay alive now on to our weapons the first one that you need is Ambo's Pride. You have to have this. You could not play the build without it because attacking with Whirlwind applies Rend. So I have Rend down here on my, um, you know, my slots here, and you never have to cast it. You're just going to use Whirlwind, and it's going to apply Rend to everything, okay? And Rend is, uh, damage is dealt over a second, so it's almost instant. Now, I opted to have the... Um, angelic crucible which is the season theme the power added on to my kimbo's pride for just maximum stats um i wish i would have got a better roll i should have re-rolled this and, and got you know no um area damage but that's okay i just wanted to do this for the build but you want the ability that says whirlwind pulls in and holds all enemies within 25 yards that's the key part is it holds them so it'll constantly drag them until you kill them and while they're being dragged they don't they can't attack you at all. The build is insane. I hope that maybe um, Blizzard doesn't change that, but it's crazy. Now, the other weapon I am using is Ingium, which you guys know when you kill an elite mob, your cooldowns are um, reduced by 9 or 10 seconds. Now, I have run this with, you know, Echoing Fury or inside the cube. You can run Echoing Fury or like um, the Furnace for increased damage against elites. But, you know, this is kind of a free slot. You can kind of mess with this. Um, I like Ingem because I want my stats reset, and it helps with uh, when we do proc this. It helps us be able to constantly cast Threatening Shout to get those health globes for increased movement speed and regen. So I really like that. Um, onto the cube, guys. We got Echoing Fury to get 25% increased attack speed and move speed, which is great. While we're channeling, we get deal increased damage and take reduced damage. It's always good for mantle channeling. And then Band of Might. Every time we Furious Charge, guys, we get 80% damage reduction. Huge. On to our skills. So Furious Charge is going to help boost us around to generate our Fury. Whirlwind is the soul skill of the build. We just hold this down and destroy everything. Threatening Shout to get, like I said, to give us those health globes for increased um, regen and movement speed. Ignore Pain just for some added defense, guys. In the higher GRs, you want something that's going to help you out, help you keep, you know, stay alive. Uh, Ren, Bloodbath really good this just helps us apply rent and then of course wrath of the berserker insanity but we do have the bracers that gives us access to all runes passives guys we got boon of the bow kathos to reduce uh cooldown of wrath of berserker pound of flesh which is in turn with threatening shout and then uh nerves of steel for just a free life and then of course rampage probably the best passive for barbarians increased strength by one percent up to 25 times 25 percent uh increased strength is insane for our damage so that is the build guys those are everything that you need if you did want to come in and kind of change some of these paths if you could like you could swap out there's a steel if you feel like you're just speed farming and you don't really need that you could put in like tough as nails for more armor you could put in berserker rage for um, more damage because you're basically going to be at max fury the entire time anyway uh, you could do weapon master or relentless would be really good so you have a lot of flexibility here in this one slot but 
I think it's really good. Having the free life is kind of nice when you're pushing higher GRs. So that is the Wrath of the Berserker, you know, just whirlwind build, guys. This build is absolutely crazy. I've been having a blast. Yo, shout out to my boy Blake. He's a big Barbarian main, and I had to put this video together for him because this is insane, guys. So enjoy the Barbarian play. I might play a third class, and this might be it because this is kind of nuts. I think that's really one of the best powers that the Barbarian has out of the new Angelic um, Crucibles this season because that's just crazy. Being able to pull and hold everything is nuts. So, and guys, enjoy the Barbarian in the PTR. Hopefully, it'll stay the same for next season. If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to drop a like. And if you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. Comment down below what do you guys think of this build. Um, I really do appreciate it. And let me know if you're excited, if you're a Barbarian main. And as always, guys, stay gaming. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.